Hello, this is Jane Goodall, and I want to talk for a moment about Marla Freeman's amazing sculpture, The Red Palm Nut. It captures a very, very special moment in my long journey to understand the chimpanzees and their behavior. It was in the early days, the first chimpanzee to lose his fear of me was David Greybeard. I don't have a photograph of him with me, but this is he. And I was following him along a trail in the forest. I lost him for a moment, but then found him sitting. I sat near him, and lying on the ground between us was this ripe red palm nut, which chimpanzees love. So I picked it up, and I held it towards him on the palm of my hand, and he turned his face away. So I put my hand closer, and he turned and looked directly into my eyes. He reached out, and he took and dropped that palm nut, but then very gently squeezed my fingers. And that's how chimpanzees reassure each other. So in that moment, we understood each other without the use of human words, the language of gestures. He understood that my motive was good. He just didn't want the nut. I understood that he knew. And it was a moment that really, I think, led to this long, long relationship that I've had with chimpanzees and now my efforts to protect them. So it was fascinating watching Mala transform a lump of clay into a likeness of me and of David. And it was wonderful to work with her and see this transformation. She accepted suggestions. The likeness has got more and more lifelike. But Mala's done more than just capture the likeness of Jane and David Greybeard. She's captured a relationship between human and animal. And I hope that this sculpture will enable more people to understand that close relationship that we have with the animals with whom we share this planet. I am truly grateful that Mala chose to take this moment in history and transform it into a sculpture that will remain as part of my life's work. And it will honor David Greybeard, a very special chimpanzee. So thank you, Marla. And I hope that some of you will want to take a copy of this sculpture into your homes so that it's there to remind you of our closeness with the animal kingdom. We're part of it and not separated from it. So thank you, Marla.